The sage grouse's natural habitat has declined by over 40 percent in recent years. Now the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will work with ranchers and other landowners to protect sage grouse habitat. What's good for the sage grouse is also what's good for the rancher and the rancher's uh, bottom line. For example, prescribed grazing, which a uh, rancher works out, you know, the frequency, the duration, the amount of grazing, is absolutely vital for good sage grouse habitat. NRCS and Fish and Wildlife will work with landowners in 11 western states to protect sage grouse habitat with minimal effect on farming and ranching work. We can only get connectivity of the habitat by having the, the ranches, the farming community working with us in a, to conserve this species, provide that connectivity, provide the habitat they need, and they're going to come back. One goal of the agreement is to reduce barriers for grouse movement and to increase habitat connectivity. These are voluntary programs. A rancher can choose to participate or not participate. They control it. If they don't want to do it, that's fine. If a rancher wants to work with us and address the sage grouse issues, they can be provided with some certainty that they continue to operate regardless of whether the grouse is listed or not. USDA is providing up to $16 million in financial assistance to landowners to improve sage grouse habitat. I'm Bob Ellison for the U.S. Department of Agriculture.